So you want to go to Africa, eh? Uh, yeah, it's unexplored and everything, so... Uh, I don't know. Well, I could bring you back some ivory. <laughs> That's a deal, seeing as how it's 1903 and we don't have Geneva Convention and all that, no rules. Okay, it's a deal. Alright, thanks. Alright, got my boat. Fresh out the dock. Spiffy. Uh, honestly, best money can buy. Alright guys, so on the boat, gotta be honest, it's, it's getting boring. Thought it would be cool at first, you're leaving the dock, you're like, ha. And now I, I can only see water. Alright, this is taking a lot, a lot longer than I thought it was. Don't they have planes now? Couldn't they do some transcontinental airplane? You know what I mean? It's not even a bad idea. I might do that myself. Alright guys, so we got some crazy stuff going on. Look at this. Like, we got all this. They're just killing them! Alright, first day in Africa. Never been here before. It's nice to take it in. <laughs> Not a good first impression, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I mean, it's not even that hot. Thought it'd be a lot hotter. It's hot. Thirteen. That's the number of poops I've stepped in. So far, no animals. What's the deal, huh? Nice. Freaking second station. Finally got here. I can get my boat and wait. What? What's this? Uh, it. What? Uh, Is my boat okay? It's broken. What? How? I... Yo, how did you break it? it... Uh, what? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Fine, fine, fine. How long is it gonna take to fix it? Well, what you need is rivets, so say three months. What? What? Hey, Uncle. What? You hear about that new ivory trader? Yeah, he's really messing up business for Kurtz. If I get my hands on him, I'm gonna hang him high. Mm. Alright, they fixed up my baby. Look at that. Uh. country. This country has changed me and for better, for worse, I don't know, but all I know is that I came looking for ivory and now I feel something, something deeper, something different. Arlo again. Oh. I woke up this morning and oh, when the sun rose there was a, there was a white fog and very warm and clammy. It was more blinding than the sun. It did not shift or drive. It was just there, standing all around like something solid. Sorry, I had to stop recording for a bit. We got attacked by some natives, and I wanted to show you this man. This man was my helmsman. He was killed by those natives. I used to think that if I died in an evil place, then my soul wouldn't be able to make it to heaven. But now, 
I don't care where I go, as long as it ain't here. I see a shack on land over there. How about let's stop and take a look? Okay, so there is a sign on this pile of wood, and at first I couldn't tell what it said, but when I had it deciphered, it said, Wood for you. Hurry up. Approach cautiously. Hurry up. Where? Up the river? Approach cautiously. Thus far, we had not done so. When I entered the shack, I found this small book. Now this book is very flimsy and very weathered. So one can assume that I shall handle this with amazing antiquity and the greatest possible tenderness, lest it should dissolve in my hands. This book, just like everything in this country, so weathered. Ah, finally made it to the inner station. Wait a second. Who are you? Ah, hello. You English? Yes, I'm English. Are you looking for Kurtz? You know who Kurtz is? Yes, I know Kurtz. I work for a Dutch trading company, but the last two years I've been on the water, and during that time I've met Kurtz. Help us, please! So you're Kurtz, huh? Yeah. I've been wanting to meet you. Hey, what are you doing? I need to get out right now. I need to talk to Kurtz alone. Hey, sorry to kick you out like that. It's just, that man is crazy. All right, we have a nice thing going in. He's just running it into the ground with his delusions of grandeur. Look, man, it's it's been a long day. Yeah, we should all probably get some rest. What is he? Kurtz, what are you doing? Just go away. It's best if you just hide. Kurtz, your delusions are getting the best of you. This has to stop. I have great things planned for these people. We're on the threshold of great things. Kurtz, just stop. All right, don't make me do this the hard way. We're in Kurtz's cabin. I'm trying to talk to him. Kurtz? I'm lying here in the dark, waiting for death. Nonsense. The horror. The horror. What is it, son? Mr. Kurtz is dead. I wish you knew. I wish you were there to see the last look that Kurtz gave me. His eyes were so hollow and yet so full of fear. Just like many of the people who I saw on this trip. In fact, it's almost as if there are no eyes at all in this valley. In this valley of dying stars. There are no eyes in this valley. This hollow, hollow valley. 